finish up, could you start off by telling me a little bit about the founding of the Evangelical Lutheran Mission Diocese of Finland and its role within the nation of Finland? We started uh, to the year 2000, uh, building up congregations. I was the first pastor there and, and, and step by step uh, it has grown from one congregation. Now we have a congregation mission 45 and pastor over 64 pastors and, and, and we try to be faithful in our Lutheran confession. And the Finland's prosecutor general charged you this past year with hate speech against um, a group of people. How did these charges come about? In the year 2004, uh, there was a public debate in the parliament and also in the established church. What is marriage? Is it meant only for one man and one woman or is it open up all for same-sex partners and so forth? So I asked them personally, medical doctor and, and member of parliament, Mrs. Päivi Rasanen, who is a faithful Lutheran Christian as well, uh, that she would write an, 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 art, an article about that. And she did. We, we, we distributed and, 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 and then put later on, later on on website. In 2019, a man had uh, made allegations that this is violating the law and, and police investigated. And he came up to the conclusion, no, this is okay. This is part of the free society to, to engage uh, public discussion. And, and, and there's nothing discriminatory language in, in this pamphlet. But the general prosecutor uh, decided against the decision of police, mm -hmm. as he said, that she will now press charges saying that it's defaming and insulting homosexuals as a group. So this question of hate speech law is, is very big issue on, uh, on European level and also national level. Actually, when she stopped uh, stepping into the office, it, she said that the, this, the question of his hate speech law is, is her main theme. And, and, and so now, now we are dealing with this, this, this question. What does this investigation say about religious freedom within Finland? Well, well the, uh, the constitution says that, of course, we have freedom of religion, of confessing the faith and practicing the faith. And of course, we have also the freedom of speech. I mean, we are, we are, we are Western liberal modern society. And I'm very proud of my country in many, many sense. But, but she's saying that, that her argumentation is that although you have freedom of religion, you have no right to offend other people. And of course, this is a very, very vague term if you start saying that offend. Somebody is offended by something and, and, and something, somebody is not offending. And, and so um, I think that uh, uh, she's well, I don't know what she, what she will argue then in, in the court. What we will see what, what what her argumentation goes. But I think that uh, this is very slippery road if you, you start going to that direction, because at the end of the day, somebody is losing more and more in freedom of religion and speech. In, and in, in our case, it will be confessional Lutherans or Christians who hold the classical view on marriage. Um, on a different note. Following your consecration as bishop on August 1st, you shared your motto, which is um, from Paul's letter to the Philippians, to for me to live as Christ. And I'd love to know why you chose this verse. Well, thank you for asking. Uh, it, I think it has many levels uh, because the, God is the life giver. And, and, and that's life is, 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 uh, is holy uh, from the conception till the end. And we face the question of abortion in euthanasia as well. So all the life is coming from the life giver who is, who is God. And it, it should be seen uh, from holy God and for all the holy people, but it's coming from God. Yeah, and it's, it's wonderful for to preach uh, life in, in his name. So, so, so that's our calling, to witness for life. Uh, and I forget, and, and, and as Luther says in small catechism, uh, that, that where there's forgiveness of sins, there's uh, life and salvation.